Hey gang, just a quick one. I uh, just showed this engine running, got the carb dialed in, it's running real good now. Um, problem that I do have with it though is that the starter generator uh, either has a bushing that's wore out in the tail cap or um, I've got some kind of a piece of junk or something inside the starter generator housing that's causing the charging pole which is on this side that's what this screw is holding in this charging pole is rubbing up against the armature it's making I only ran this you know a few seconds for you guys and I ran it myself for maybe 30 seconds getting the carburetor adjusted and this is too hot to touch now on this side of the starter generator that's uh, uh, indicative of a rub uh, either the pole shoes gotten out of whack or your bearing on the bottom of your starter generator or your bushing uh, has started wearing out if your bushing has started wearing out in the tail cap they are replaceable um, or if you've got a spare starter generator you can put a new tail cap on that's what I'm gonna do is just put a different tail cap on it so I believe that's what my problem is because not only is my pole real hot which is given a lot of heat on the outside of this casing. And these are thick casings if anybody's not had these apart. They're a good 3 8 inch thick. That's a lot of metal. Well, the back side of it, there's no heat at all. It's barely even warm. And then this side, like I say, even just holding my hand close to it, feel the heat radiating off of it. So when you've got uh, your belt tension on here and the angle that it's pulling, it's pulling this side of the, wanting to pull this side of the pulley towards the engine which is putting stress on the tail cap bushing. Um, of course figure an engine that's what 39 years old um, if this is the original starter generator I'm surprised it's last this long without any maintenance done to it so uh, I'll probably show you guys what I do when I change the tail cap in this as long as I don't pull the um, armature out from the housing I won't have to pull it away from the brushes but I may do it anyway just to clean the brushes and the commutator and show you guys all that kind of stuff to get one of these running again if they're not charging or starting for you because you got two separate poles you got the charging leg and then you've got uh, the starting leg which is on the back side in this particular instance and these smaller uh, shorter starter generators are different from your long starter generators that are on your horizontal shaft Briggs and Stratton's. They use a different type of regulator. They have a different amp rating. Uh, of course the way they're wound is different. Um, so the parts that are interchangeable on these are only the head cap, the tail cap, and the pulley. Um, anything else in there is not you're not able to switch over and put onto a larger frame. Uh, they've just got uh, different geometries about the way they're uh, built inside. Um, so anyway, we'll try to make that the next video when I get to feeling a little better. Is me uh, taking that starter generator apart, looking for the warm bushing on the tail cap. And like I said, I've already checked and my tail cap bushing is still too hot to touch. So that tells me that that's where my wear's at. If I've got a hot pole shoe, <coughs> uh, on either side like on my starting side or on my uh, charging side um, that's telling you you've got one of two problems now the machines that were used I worked for General or for Delco Remy that uh, remanufactured these types of starters and the big old uh, cast uh, starters um, but we remanufactured these starter generators and what's in here there's a coil that's wrapped around a piece of steel that's a piece of forged steel it's called a pole shoe and that pole shoe has a lip on the outside edge of it and that pole shoe holds a coil in place and then that coil in turn comes down and is attached to one of the um, brushes and when you're going from starter to generator you're using one set of brushes and when you're going to the, the charging side you're using another set of brushes well these are rpm uh, activated when they get high enough rpm they start charging and it's regulated of course through a voltage regulator but when i get one of these tore down and tore apart i'll show you guys how to fix a slow turning starter generator 
and how to um, repair or replace bushings or just to replace a tail cap. Uh, like I said, this one's not going to be torn completely apart, but when I blow it out and clean it out, I will show you guys what's important to clean. And they are easy to take apart and put back together as long as you know what you're doing. And it's not that difficult to do. They've got pins that self-align the tail cap and the head cap. So there's no way to put it together wrong. Um, as long as you've got decent brushes and the brushes screw in. So you uh, the leads to the brushes screw in so they are replaceable if your brushes are worn. You can get them on eBay. But... Uh, I've rattled on long enough. Like I said a few little bit ago, I'm tired. I've only been out here an hour and a half, and I've had enough, so I'm heading inside. Um, thanks, everybody, again for their well wishes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that I've not had a chance to thank. And thanks to my old subscribers and my friends. Uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Zippo. Later. I'm out.